everybody, it's Lavender Town, and today I'm turning my favorite foods into character designs. So I'm starting off with my favorite savory food in the world, and that is sushi. And my favorite type of sushi is this um, kind where there's raw salmon on the top, and then there's sushi rice underneath, and that's pretty much it. Sometimes there's a little dot of wasabi under the fish. Um, it is called sake nigiri, and I am a huge fan of it. There's been various times in my life where I've tried to be vegan or limited my diet, and usually what I miss the most is actually sushi and uh, one other food that will be coming up later. So um, I really like sushi because it's super healthy but it's also super tasty um, other than I guess mercury is an issue with fish but other than that it's a very healthy kind of food and it also yeah it tastes delicious to me. Um, so basically I wanted to create a really cute sushi looking girl um, I wanted to use like a big crinkly dress because I knew that the sort of crinkle fabric look would look kind of like sushi rice if it was white so um, I thought that I would go that direction. I also knew I wanted to do some sort of hood and cape kind of style thing so that we could have a wrap over top just like the sushi, it, the, the piece of fish is put over the rice. So I gave her this little hood thing with um, a little cape behind her that looks like the salmon. I also gave her a little purse that looks like a maki roll, um, so it's the type of roll that has seaweed on the outside and rice on the inside and then some sort of filling like fish or vegetables or both. Um, and uh, yeah, I just basically wanted her to look like the human incarnation of sushi. Um, I also tried to make her look a little bit more Japanese um, just because it's a Japanese food. And speaking of Japan, I'm actually going to be going to Japan for quite a long time. I'm going to be there for three months and um, I thought it would be cool to try to make some videos about Japan while still making, of course, my usual drawing content. So if you guys have any ideas or suggestions on how I can show you um, parts of sort of what I'm experiencing in Japan uh, while keeping it a drawing video, I would definitely be open to that. Um, let me know in the comments if you can think of anything because uh, obviously this isn't a travel channel, but this is such a cool thing that's happening that I kind of want to share it with you guys somehow. So yeah, any ideas would be very welcome. So um, I'm putting in the color for this dress and shawl and her sort of shawl part of her outfit is looking very pink. Um, it needs a little bit more redness, I think, but luckily I will be able to get that in with some gradients, which will also make it look more like a piece of fish like it has more um, sort of dimension to it than rather just a striped white and pink scarf. So her dress is looking a lot like rice because I basically drew it the exact same way but the idea is that it's that kind of crinkly um, kind of clothes. I mean uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen those crazy shirts that look like they're just like tiny like little balls of fabric but then you can like wear it and it stretches out and it's all like I think it's called like a popcorn shirt or something it's very weird it kind of looks like popcorn ceilings but yeah um, so yeah I tried to make the shawl part look sort of shiny just like the salmon on top of the sushi and I also gave her tempera shrimp boots um, I don't even know why she's starting to look more like just the general idea of Japanese food but um, I thought she looked pretty cute by the end of it so there she is in all her finished glory. I think she looks pretty cute and it looks a lot like what I was trying to make her into, which is sake nigiri. Um, though the shrimp tempura boots I think are a little bit too much, um, but I loved making them and I think they look really silly, so uh, I guess no regrets. Next up is one of my all-time favorite foods, probably my favorite savory junk food, and that is pizza. Now this is the thing that kept me alive when I was in college because I had basically no money and there was a terrible pizza joint called Pizza 73, um, I think it was called. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was a Canadian pizza chain. I don't think it's anywhere else. And it basically had the worst pizza ever, but it was super cheap, like cheaper than Pizza Hut, cheaper than Papa John's or anything like that. Um, so I ate a lot of that really bad pizza <laughs> in college. And uh, yeah, it was super unhealthy. But today I'm drawing a much more classic Italian style pizza, um, which is a margarita pizza. So basically a margarita pizza is a type of pizza. It sometimes has red sauce, sometimes it doesn't, um, but it usually has a flat sort of crust and then it has blobs of mozzarella cheese. It has whole leaves of basil, which I love, and um, usually either whole or diced tomatoes. 
and uh, it's very good. Um, it's one of those things that's gradually gotten me to eat more tomatoes. I used to be super phobic of tomatoes, like I could not handle the texture or the flavor or even looking at them, like they just really gross me out, but um, through the power of margarita pizza and uh, some sandwiches, I finally learned to love tomatoes, or at least tolerate them when they're on food that I already like, like pizza. So anyway, um, for this character, I wanted her to be uh, very distinct from the sushi one that I just did. So um, I'm trying to figure out how to fit all these things, this cacophony of items onto her. I gave her like a headband that looks like the crest and I'm also giving her like sort of big fluffy hair that looks more like the pizza sauce. I gave her a little basil leaf sleeve cap because I thought that would be cute. And then she just has like a big pizza skirt. <laughs> I don't know how well this one turned out honestly. It looks really weird but I didn't know how to fit these triangles into her into her um, proportions properly. I should have made her more, I guess, angular because pizza is a triangle, but I just felt like pizza is such a comfort food that I wanted her to look soft and like um, not not sharp, like, like, you know, a pizza slice. And I guess pizza, whole pizzas are round, so I guess these roundy shapes are okay for that. But yeah, I just tried to incorporate all these colors and it made me realize that uh, margarita pizza is actually the color of the Italian flag. So it's very, um, it's very patriotic, um, I guess, if you're in Italy. Uh, <laughs> I highly recommend it if you've only ever had like American junk food pizza because margarita pizza is delicious too. They're really like two separate entities, I would say. Um, like when I want a, a Pizza Hut pizza, like a margarita pizza would not cut it, but um, it's kind of its own, it's kind of its own food. Next up is boba. Now boba is a very popular Taiwanese drink. Um, it's popular all throughout Asia and is getting very popular over here in the West. And basically what it is, is some kind of tea. It can be usually like a very sweet milk tea, but it can also be sort of a more clear standard type of tea. Um, and it has these little uh, tapioca pearls in the bottom. So like if you've ever had tapioca pudding, um, it's like that only they're giant and they're black and um, I think they probably taste a lot better. I don't know how tapioca pearls actually taste because in tapioca pudding they're usually so overwhelmed by pudding that I don't really know. Um, boba doesn't actually, I guess, taste like anything on its own, the, the little bubbles in the bottom, but they're super fun to chew on. Um, you get a super fat straw so that they can fit through. Um, and I always get the taro milk tea. It's super delicious. I love it. Um, taro is like, it's basically like a potato, I think. It's like this starchy uh, root vegetable, but it is very delicious and it's naturally purple, which I just, I love the aesthetic of it. Um, sometimes I get drinks just because they look pretty and then I'm always disappointed because they don't taste as good as whatever else I might have gotten. Um, so uh, taro, taro milk tea both looks cute and is super delicious. It kind of tastes like sugar cookies. I'm not sure what makes it so like sweet and, and great. I mean, I guess probably loads of sugar, um, but anyway. Uh, so for this character, I wanted to make her look sort of very bubbly and um, just adorable. Uh, so I gave her sort of a cylindrical body so that it would look more like the cup. And I gave her a big pearl necklace because of course the boba pearls are the most iconic part of a bubble tea. I mean, it's called a bubble tea. It's, it's the feature, it's the first word. The tea is really an afterthought, even though that's the part that's super tasty. Um, so I gave her a big sort of bubbly hair and of course, yeah, the pearls. Um, I tried to do a little edge on the hem of her dress so that it would look a little bit more like the lip of the cup and then I also gave her legs that are not super shapely like they mostly go down kind of like the straw um, and then I gave her long bottom eyelashes just because I thought that was cute and a crinkle cut hat that looked like the red lid. Um, the boba is really interesting. It's like sealed when you get it usually. They put it in a fancy machine and it shakes it like crazy and does all kinds of weird stuff and then it seals the lid onto the top so you have to stab through the plastic lid part with your straw and it's super satisfying and it makes like a pop sound. Um, yeah, everything about boba is super satisfying, I would just say. If you haven't tried it, you definitely should though. Um, some people are super grossed out by it. Uh, my dad gags every time he tries boba for some reason. He can't even handle it. It's not the taste, it's the texture. Um, so I guess try it, but with caution, um, especially if you have issues with texture. But uh, yeah, so this is my boba girl mostly finished up. I think she turned out super weird. 
her feet are tiny and really round. Um, I kind of like that to be honest, but overall she mostly looks like that character from uh, Boku no Hero Academia that can rip his hair off and throw it at people. Um, so yeah, uh, this is a really strange video. I have some really exciting ideas for a new video I want to make, but it was taking too much time. So I had to do this one, which is just me talking about food and drawing. Um, so I hope you guys liked it. Uh, and I will see you guys next week. Thank you to all of my patrons, including Scott Peterson, Christy Stewart, Painamel, The Artsy Moose, Elizabeth Alvin, Count Pompon, Trasho Maniac, Mycodactyl, Okamore, Matthew Kunke, Blep, Sergeant Pendulum, Shiori, Lena Christine, DeSweet12, Giwas, Taka, Lovely, Lachlan MD, Mystic, Enzo Jobort, Yoboy ST, JJ Jade, Blah 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 Blah, and Addy Visual.